guys, welcome back to SourceFed. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Apple and iOS fans rejoice. The iPhone 5 has been announced and it's all kinds of awesome. Yes, I've been waiting for this, Steve, and I've been using this stupid dying iPhone 4 that was given to me and I'm ready for an upgrade. Damn right, girl. So once Apple unveiled the new Jesus phone, we could barely tell what was new right off the bat. It seems like a lot of the prototype leaks were legit, actually. It's the lightest iPhone yet and 18% thinner than before. It has a four inch 326 PPI retina display. PP. <laughs> 1136 by 640 resolution, which allows for five rows of icons and sports a metal backing. Buy a flimsy glass that I broke once. Mine's currently shattered. Along with all that stuff, the iPhone 5 has a fancy new processor chip, the A6. It's a two times faster CPU and two times the graphics compared to the A5 and the iPhone 4S. So it's gonna be super fast, especially if you're coming from the 3G or a 4. And what about battery life? Because let's be honest, the battery life has sucked on all iPhones. My 4S barely holds a charge these days. It may be because of the fact that I have push on and I have 17 apps running at all times, but that's probably not it. Apple actually had very little to say about the 5's battery life, saying, quote, what our team has done is not only match, but exceed the battery life of the iPhone 4S. With eight hours of 3G or LTE talk time or browsing, and 10 hours of Wi-Fi browsing. We'll see how it works out once it's in our hands, though, Apple. Mm -hmm. The camera is basically the same from the 4S, but there's a new dynamic low light mode that evaluates nearby pixels and gives up to two f-stops greater low light performance. Get ready for fancier Instagram photos, hipsters. Yeah. Also, better color matching and a 40% faster image capturing, which is kind of crazy because the 4S was already super fast. Yeah. Shared photo streams is also a new feature, so you can share a series of photos with your friends and family, so they can share and comment. Sounds like Apple's trying out its own Instagram kind of thing. Ooh, Meg. Not gonna switch, still like Instagram. Also, finally, Panorama is now an official feature. You can now take beautiful, super big photos of your trip to the Grand Canyon with your dad, and it has Apple intuitiveness and looks super easy. And it smooths things out while you take the photo and removes weird artifacts and corrects the image if someone moves around while you're taking the photo. Nice, dad'll be happy. Nice. The video on the 5 is pretty much the same, 1080p HD, but with a better video stabilization and facial recognition. However, now the front-facing camera has a boosted resolution of 720p and is backside illuminated. And you can now FaceTime over cellular networks. No more Wi-Fi, only video chats with your family and friends. And now I can show people my junk without having to be on Wi-Fi. Wait, um, you show your junk to people on FaceTime? That's what it's for, right? Why don't you tell them about the new crappy connector, Meg? Ugh. I don't wanna talk about it. We got to. Yeah. We gotta talk about it. The new connector has been a hot debate. We've basically been using the same connector for nine years since the iPod launched. The 5's new connector is all digital and called Lightning. It's 80% smaller, a different shape, and now we're gonna have to buy a sh ton of new connectors to make it work with all of our accessories. Thanks, Apple. Also, it doesn't have that annoying USB thing where it's like, what side can I connect it in? You can connect it on both sides, so that's pretty cool. So what about the new iOS? The iPhone 5 will launch with the new iOS 6. There's a new Maps application with a new search engine, so you can look at local points of interest. Safari has a new full screen view, which looks like the desktop version, and you can share your tabs from desktop to your phone using iCloud tabs. You can also now launch apps using Siri and even post updates to Facebook. The future! Oh. So all in all, the iPhone 5 is looking pretty great. I like the new features, and since I've upgraded my phone every year by selling the previous generation to buy the new one, I'm in for the 5. There's nothing breathtakingly amazing about the 5, but I'm interested in the battery life upgrades and the A6 chip for gaming. I've been holding on to my upgrades since I signed up with AT&T, and I am so ready. Plus, my phone is totally crapping out, so you know what? I'm gonna pre-order, which you'll be able to do this Friday, September 14th, with prices staying the same as the 4S last year. $199 for the 16 gig, $299 for the 32, and $399 for the 64. They'll be available to pick up or ship in the US, Canada, UK, Germany, France, Australia, Japan, Hong Kong, and Singapore on Friday, September 21st. And available to the rest of the world on the 28th. Ready to stand in line, Steve? Ooh, yeah, baby. I will be waiting there right next to you, Meg, along with all the other droves of brainwashed Apple hooligans cheering and enjoying free snacks and drinks from Apple while they butter us up and shake us down for more of our hard-earned monies for new futuristic and completely necessary toys. Yeah, I'm so excited. Toys. Yay. So what are your thoughts on the iPhone 5? Let us know in the comments down below. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already and click the annotation to go to sourcefed.com and see every story we've ever done in the five stories of the day. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Meg Turney. Let's go wait in line, Meg. No, okay. Yeah. Okay, so no, we, no, no, we want to go that, that way. No, this one? That's okay. the door. Yeah, yeah, no.